Welcome to Agile Coding. Today I speak with you about Java 21 and its most important features since version 17. I'm using it now for a few months and I mostly enjoy the features about pattern matching and switch statements and the sequenced collection interface, which is new and enriches the methods how to access lists. My name is Elmar Brauch. I'm a software developer and architect in Deutsche Telekom. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoy the content, please like it. So let's jump to the IDE and see Java 21 in action. So here you see now some Java 17 code and I will convert it to the new features in Java 21. So let's start with pattern matching and switch statement. We have here a simple main method, which is logging on info level the result of this method, which is a string. And as input, I, I give here a double stream. The double stream is accepted here as a base stream. Yeah, So we want to do some pattern matching instance of checks with a switch statement. So that's why I uh, use here base stream so that I can check the type. Of course, we know now it's a double stream, but um, the compiler of this method does not know this. And that's why this is yeah, a reasonable case here. OK, so what we want to do is we want to have now one switch statement dealing with here this nasty if else, if else, else statement, which is some kind of hard work to do the check for null, the check for instance integer stream, for instance of double stream, yeah, and that can be done now way nicer with switch. So let's start with switch, and as input, we can use here the stream, and that is the first thing which is kind of new because stream is in this situation any kind of class yeah before you could use only integers enums and, and strings yeah and now you can put in any kind of object because we did do, can do this kind of instance of check within the case statement so the first case is here instance of integer stream and if that is the case i will return expression in case string it's just about logging so i'm returning this and uh, we will also define a default case so that we get rid of the compile error as soon as possible in the default case i will just throw an exception and i will return the result of the switch and put a semicolon so that it compiles here we have of course now an error in the if, which is after the return statement, so this unreachable code. But um, yeah, let's move on with the rest of um, this if block below. So we have also the case of double stream. So again, I say case, double stream, and in case of double stream, I return casted in case as text. And what else do we have here? We, ha we have not just an integer stream, we have a condition on this integer stream. It has to be a parallel stream. So if I copy this now here, I will get a compile error because I cannot just um, do the Boolean checking by adding the end. Yeah? So here we have a Boolean check and I just append it with end. That's not allowed. I use, need to use the new keyword when and then it compiles. Of course, I could add here more Boolean checks, like is uh, any match uh, null. Yeah, you see it compiles. Of course, this would not work properly, so I remove it again. But it was about showing that it compiles. And then finally, here's one more um, case, the null case. Before, you had always to write if stream equals null, then return here in this case, the string, but now you can integrate the null case directly in the switch statement, which is pretty nice. So I can do it like this, and then all of the code below is obsolete. I delete it now, and let's execute it to prove that it's also working. The expected result is we will lock cast it in case. 
Yeah, and you see it here um, below in the log entries. I have a two line logging format um, and the second li line logs on information level casted in case. So that's working. Let's check now the other announced feature, which is the sequenced list. So again, I have adapted the main method. We will now focus on the sequence list. And therefore I prepared some code which starts by having a mutable list. I created an array list and it contains um, three strings, first, second, third. So um, that is the content of the list. And the idea of the first logging statement is now to read the first element in the list, which is this one, and the last element, which is a third um, string. So before you had to do it with the help of an index, yeah, so you, needed an index to access elements in the list. And for new developers, that's always kind of confusing because the first element in the list has index zero. So you need to say get zero to get the first element. And the last one is not just the size of the list. Like here, this list has a size of three. I have to request it with, I cannot request it with get three. I have to use get um, size of the list minus one, which is then two. and index two is the last element because zero, one, two. Yeah, so that is the index way. And now Java offers uh, with the help of the sequenced uh, collection, get first and get last. And that simplifies this a lot. Yeah, so now I can read it with get first and get last. I will quickly prove that this code is, is working by executing it. And then we will speak about the other features of sequenced collection. Yeah, here you see read first and last. The first element is first, the last one is third. And yeah, I will speak about the remaining uh, log entries now by moving on. Yeah, so then I want to reverse a list. Here I created a new list and I added the element force at position one. So again, I had to do it indexed and also for add, this is not required anymore. I can say add first and then I can get rid of the index and the number of uh, the string force is directly on the first place of the list. So that would be here. But the idea is to reverse this list so that we have force, third, second, first. Yeah, And um, in order to reverse a list, there is a new method introduced, which is list.reversed. And then I do not get a copy of this list. I get a different view on this list. And this is still the same list, but the view is now in reversed order. So if I put the fourth element on the reversed list on the first place, it will be here, but the third element will be on the second place and so on. So if I execute this code now, we will compare it also with the original list because as I said before, it's a few on the list. So that means the original list changed also. Yeah, so here we have the reversed list and the element force at the first place. So this is this log entry and as expected, we get force third, second, first, but the original list, this one also changed, yeah. Um, it still has the order as it had had before because reverse is just a few on it. And now we have first, second, third, and fourth. So adding the element on the view of the reverse list adds it also to the original list, which is this one, because original list and the few on it are still the same object here. Yeah? Okay, and then of course, as we as you can already expect, there is a bunch of other extra methods to change a list and that is um, remove uh, first. So let's do this. We remove the first element. We remove the last element. Remove last. And then we add a new first element and a new last element. Add first and add last. Oops. So at last position, we will put end and at first position, we say big 
begin. And then we have again a changed list because that changed the original list and it will not have any more first and last. So the last log statement here will change. I will prove it by executing it. So here we see we have now begin at the first place because we first removed the first element, which was here, this one. Then we removed the last one, which is a fourth element, which we added. Yeah. And then we have a new first and a new last element. And that ends our code with this list begin, second, third, end. Yeah. So from my personal point of view, that are two coding features which are new with Java 21, which have direct impact on your daily work. From my point of view, the virtual threads are the most important feature of Java 21. So if you are interested in that, in this, check out the video I uh, link above. And if you liked this video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.